I'm following a carnivore diet for 90 days. Why? That's the same question I've been asking myself recently. People are claiming to get all sorts of benefits from this diet, whether it's weight loss or curing their diseases. Since I'm lucky enough not to have any diseases, I want to learn if this diet's healthy for somebody to follow, and I also want to know if I can unlock any abilities that I didn't previously have. Before starting the diet, I took a ton of diagnostics, which you can learn more about in my last video. The day before starting, I went back to the gym to test my strength at higher rep ranges. I hit 9 reps on the squat at 315 pounds, 23 pull-ups, and 9 reps at 225 pounds on the bench press. 10 reps with a spot. After finishing at the gym, I went out for my last pre-carnivore meal, both for pleasurable and practical purposes. This is the first video of this type that I've ever made, so please forgive the quality. I'm definitely gonna be working on improving this if this is something you guys wanna see moving forward. So, this is Fat Tuesday today. Fat Tuesday is the day before Ash Wednesday. Basically, you're supposed to eat everything that you possibly can because on Ash Wednesday, which is the beginning of Lent, people give up food that they don't eat for the next 40 days. The difference between a regular person and myself is that I'm not just giving up one food or one thing, I'm giving up everything except for meat. So I just <laughs> had the fattest Tuesday of maybe anyone in history, definitely that I've ever had in my history. And I think at the end of this, I definitely am not gonna be wanting to eat anything except for meat for a while, but I'm also a fat ass, so that's probably gonna change tomorrow when I wake up and realize that I can't have any sort of anything besides me. I was talking to a naturopath, and the naturopath told me that I should get an IgG test. What an IgG test does is it measures your food sensitivities. If you're sensitive to a food, then that causes some sort of symptom in your body, whether that's a headache or drowsiness or whatever that might be. Or in order for them to test if you're sensitive to a food, you have to have that food in your bloodstream, which means you had to have consumed it within the last I don't know, week, couple of weeks. I probably should have paid more attention, but when she was telling me this, I only had a couple of days till the diet anyways. I'm assuming that she didn't mean you should eat every single one of these 150 foods on the list in one meal, but c'est la vie. It's Fat Tuesday, so I'm getting as fat as I possibly can in this one day before I go three months of eating nothing but meat. I don't think I'm gonna feel any worse than I do right now when I get on this diet, so this is probably a pretty good way to kick it off, honestly. Day one weigh in. Let's see what we're working with. Two, two point seven. Part of our diet day number one, and it's a snowy day outside, so figured we'd match the snow by jumping into a nice oh, bed of meat. Got two hours of sleep because I was editing a video until four a.m. And now I'm going back to edit that video so I can try to get it out by noon today. Feeling good though. I'm just gonna fast all day and see if I can kickstart this ketogenic adaptation. Time to finalize this edit. Got two hours. Let's do it. 4.03 and I'm eating my first carnivore meal. I can't hold that any longer. Carnivore diet day one is coming to an end and I don't actually think I'm feeling too horrible at all actually about when I'm eating. My energy seems relatively good considering I'm running off of two hours of sleep and 16 hours of work and I'm still somehow managing to talk to this camera right now. And I don't even know if one day on a diet is enough time for it to register in your body yet. So I'm probably still functioning off of whatever food I was consuming for the past 24 hours. So I'll give you an update tomorrow. Carnivore. Day two weigh-in. Week yesterday was around 202 pounds. If that's correct, then I am down four pounds in one day. Okay, so I just looked at what I weighed in on the first day and I was 202.7. Today I'm 198.8, which is almost exactly four pounds down in one day. I don't know whether I should be excited about that or slightly concerned. Packing lunch for the day. What do we have? No, no. Ground beef, check. Ribeye, check. Filet mignon. All right, this is an easy lunch to pack. I guess I just need to find out whether I have a stove wherever I'm gonna be, or a barbecue. But considering that it's winter out, barbecuing probably isn't the best option. Get in the video today. Let's get after it. Fuck! After overcoming some serious technical difficulties and probably convincing my neighbors that a guy with Tourette's moved in, the video is finally live on YouTube, so go and check it out. 
I'm probably gonna take it relatively easy for the rest of the day, go hit the gym, and try to recover from this last month straight of nothing but work. Day three weigh-in. Wow. Also another three and a half pounds. All right, today is carnivore diet day three. I did not really eat yesterday. I haven't eaten much for the last two days, really. I haven't really been that hungry, but the other problem is that I haven't been able to find time to make food. That's one of the problems, I guess, with this carnivore diet is that you can't really have ready-made meals, or if you can, I have to look into how to do it better because so far everything I've been eating is a steak or ground beef or something that requires some preparation. That being said, I really haven't felt that hungry. I've been fairly productive considering the state that I've been in. And I'm already down, after two days, I'm down, I think about 7.3 pounds. And I haven't been trying to restrict my food. I've just been eating whenever I have time and, when, and I've been eating as much food as I want to stay full. This is definitely seems like a way that you are restricting your appetite naturally by eating nothing but meat. So if you want to lose weight really quickly, well, this carnivore diet is definitely seeming to be a good way to do that. I don't know that I would recommend that. I don't know if it's safe, but it's definitely effective at that specific purpose. Other thing, my shits have been good. Better than they even were before going onto this carnivore diet. I know Joe Rogan mentioned that he had some rocket fuel coming out of your booty hole. And I haven't experienced that at all yet. So maybe it's going to take me a couple more days for that to kick in because I still have some fiber and carbohydrates in my system. Or maybe I just process meat pretty effectively. I will have to wait and see on that one. In terms of how I'm feeling from a mindset perspective, I definitely feel like I might be more on edge. I had some moments yesterday where I was literally screaming like, Fuck! But it's also because I was already a day late getting this overview video published. I don't know, maybe that would have happened regardless of the diet. I don't even know if this is a real disease, but if I were one of those people who wakes up in the morning and forgets everything that happened the day before, I don't think that I would have woken up today or yesterday realizing that anything was off. Definitely did not feel like I had as much energy at the gym, but I also had a very long couple of days. I haven't slept in quite a while, so I don't know if I can attribute that specifically to the carnivore diet. So I'm gonna go to get to the gym again today and we'll see how my energy levels feel there. One thing that people have been asking me is, am I going to get sick of eating steak every day? And the answer to that is, no, I really don't think I am going to get sick of eating steak. The thing that I think is going to happen, which has already started to happen, is that I'm going to miss other foods. Like the other day I was over to the store and I heard somebody order a cookie and it hasn't really registered with me yet that I'm completely on this carnivore diet. So I heard, I get a chocolate chip cookie and I'm like, oh, I like a chocolate chip cookie. I should get one of those. And it took me like two seconds in my head to register like, no, you idiot. You can't eat anything other than steak. So that's, I think, the, going to be the biggest problem with this diet is the lack of variety. Put your head at day four in the diet. I haven't really had a chance to even register the fact that I'm on a carnivore diet yet because I've just been so busy for the last couple of days and it's been pretty difficult to get things done. How's your energy in bed? In bed? <laughs> I was having performance issues. They're not the normal kind that you're thinking of. My leg cramps were hurting so bad that I couldn't move. If I moved in the wrong direction, the leg started to tighten up and it was about to just start exploding with pain. So I had to stop moving. I'm feeling pretty tired today, honestly, which is strange because I slept more last night than I have in the last two months. I have felt a little bit slow. My brain hasn't been operating at full capacity. Trying to get work done is a little bit more difficult. Like yesterday, I spent the whole day working, but I probably got half as much done as I feel like I would normally get done in a full day of work. And at the gym, I definitely felt like I want to get the hell out of this place. As soon as I got to the gym, I wanted to leave. And normally when I get to the gym, I'm like, all right, this is my break for the day. This is where I relieve stress. This is where I come to clear my head. And, and as soon as I got there, I was like, I, I got to get out of here. Any other negative symptoms you're experiencing right now? It's a lack of clarity. Like I, I don't know what I should be spending my time on. Like for example, yesterday I was supposed to put together a pitch deck. And instead of doing that, I responded to YouTube comments for two hours. I still focused for most of the day. It's just, I didn't prioritize as effectively as I could have, but that's really hard to really attribute that to the diet. Game plan from here on out is to eat more. I don't think I've been having enough food. I lost seven and a half pounds in two days. And even though I'm assuming the majority of that was water weight, I still need to eat more food. That's way too much weight to lose in two days. This is the hardest part of the diet, honestly, is when you cook a steak and you're just super hungry, waiting for it to rest. I know that that's what I need to do because that's gonna make it the tastiest. I just want to dig in, so it's a little bit difficult. 